Napoleon crowned himself emperor on December 2nd, 1804, at Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris. Britain had stood alone against Napoleon from 1803 to 1805 and was constantly threatened with invasion. In the late summer of 1805, Napoleon had assembled nearly 200,000 men on the Channel Coast for his planned invasion of England. Together with Austria, Russia, and several other nations, England had finally formed the Third Coalition. Their goal was to depose Napoleon and dismember the French Empire. The French Navy was starved of experience, leadership, and equipment during the Revolution. While the army had been reborn under the Republic, the Navy withered. Napoleon never fully understood naval warfare. The French fleet never really had any chance of defeating the English during the entirety of Napoleon's reign. While the French may have had the occasional daring or competent commander, the lack of sea experience by the crews made for the lack of competence in a highly technical world. By early autumn, Austrian forces had invaded Bavaria and northern Italy. Russian troops were marching west, where they would soon join the Austrians, while England supported with economic aid and minor raids in Italy and Germany. Napoleon reacted swiftly. He transferred the mass of the French army to meet the Austrian forces. The members of the Third Coalition had not expected such speed on the part of the French, and by September the French army was across the Rhine. The victory at Ulm was a masterpiece of planning. In a matter of weeks, the Grand Army had marched from the coast of France to Bavaria, for the most part in secrecy. General Mack was surrounded before he even knew the French Army was fully deployed in Bavaria.
Within a month, the Austrian army in Bavaria had surrendered at Ulm, and coalition forces were retreating out of Italy. The unfortunate General Mack and much of the Austrian army surrendered. By mid-November, Napoleon captured Vienna. Even with this victory, the pressure remained on Napoleon as Austria refused to surrender and winter had arrived. Additionally, the intentions of Frederick William III were unclear. If the Prussians intervened before coalitions forced could be defeated, Napoleon would face disaster. At the time, Kutuzov avoided any decisive battle. The corps system was very important to the French army. Napoleon did not invent it, but he adopted it enthusiastically. A corps would contain the three primary forces of the period, infantry, cavalry, and artillery. This gave each corps the flexibility to deal with any enemy force. If outmatched, a corps would hold on until other corps could reinforce it. If the forces were roughly equal to the corps, it would handle the situation on its own. By using corps, the army could be split to a distance where each corps could still support another. This allowed for travel along several roads at once and greatly sped the distance the Grand Army could travel, making it faster than any opponent. After Ulm, Russian General Kutuzov recommended withdrawal and Fabian tactics so the French would overextend themselves and diplomacy could bring the Prussian army. Tsar Alexander overruled Kutuzov's sound advice and demanded the coalition forces go on the attack. In early December, the Russians and the remnant of the Austrian army attacked. The Battle of Austerlitz would begin. 